Hello everybody, I'm Tom Chapman and this is my Map Tool tutorial series and today we're going to be dealing with uh, episode 10.2. Now episode 10 is all about putting tokens and grabbing tokens and putting them into Map Tool. 10.1 uh, was using tokens from the mapping packs that we downloaded. 10.2 is going to be about creating custom tokens using the RP Tools utility Token Tool. Now, Token Tool is like Map Tool in that it doesn't install on your computer. It's a Java-based sort of thing where you just run an instance of it, and it's an executable file. So what I did is I went ahead and made another shortcut to Token Tool. I saved it in an RP Tools folder, made a shortcut just like in an earlier video. I made a shortcut for Map Tool. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to open it. So now that it's open, this is what I'm met with. This is almost the entirety of Token Tool. In fact, up here, there's not much under File. There's not much under Tool. There's not really much to this program at all. Now, if there's more hidden in this that I don't know about, I apologize. But I just use it for a really basic function, and I use it as a drag and drop tool. So let's start with this. Let's get ourselves a picture to use. And that's really where we start. It's as simple as this. Drag an image onto this pane. So I already know an image I want to use. It's on this, page 14. In this game, there is a wooden golem. And I want to use that wooden golem. But I don't have a picture of it. I want to use this specific one. I've got the art for it. I might as well use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snapshot tool that I have up here and select it. I'm going to click and drag, and I'm just going to select a large chunk of this picture. I don't need the whole thing. I want a big enough picture to work with. I'm going to zoom into 200% for this one. Copy selected graphic. And then I need to open up something to save it to. So I'm going to open up Paint again, just simple old Paint. And I'm just going to Control-V, paste it. At this point, I need to save it because it's not a file yet. Control-S. I want it on the desktop. Untitled is just fine because it's a temporary file. And now I have this image file saved. Now another option when copying from a PDF and using the snapshot tool is such as this one. I need to make a token of roll there. So I'm going to go ahead and select roll there, copies that. I'm going to come over here, paste him in there. But now I have a problem. I've got all this extra text, and I don't need that for my token. So in Paint, I'm going to come up here and select and go to freeform selection. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to click somewhere. This allows for free drawing. So I'm going to loop around kind of everything that I don't want as best as I can, knowing that it won't be perfect. It is MS Paint. Connect it back to the beginning. And that selects this random area that I just outlined, hit delete, and it gets rid of all of that. So from there, I can just hit Control S and also put that into Token Tool. Now going back to my wood golem, we're going to finish up with him. I'm going to minimize to my desktop. I'm going to find my untitled image, which is right here. And there's some extra stuff on there if you see all the extra white. That's not going to matter in this program. And doing what Token Tool asked me to, click, drag, Go to Token Tool, and I'm going to dump it right there. So now I have an image, and I have this weird square thing in the middle. What this square thing is, is if I come up here, that's the frame. That is the frame around the image. So whatever's inside here, it's going to show up here, and that's my token. Now I don't mess with this a whole bunch because I end up messing with the size once I get into the program. So there's a number of things you can do here. Uh, I usually don't use any of it because I like the default, except for the border that it gives you. This wooden border, I don't click with it. I'm not a big fan of it. If you click this drop-down menu, there is all sorts of stuff here for you. All sorts of different options, numerous things you can do. Uh, you can even have interesting things like this where there's some designs inside. Uh, it looks like runes over it. Um, and you also find things like this, which is just a solid plate, which makes no sense unless you're really good at editing things in Photoshop or other programs 
and you can create top-down images and you can use that as you see here as a solid background and then anything that you put on top of it will be will turn that into a tile now I've never messed with that because I am not that talented but that option is there for those of you that wish to use it now what I usually use this for is I like these circles down at the bottom and what I usually do sometimes I give too much away with this but if it's a friendly NPC I use silver if it is an enemy NPC or a hostile NPC I use red and if it's a hero I use gold that's just how I do things you can do whatever you want and mess with these in any way that you wish but I'm gonna go with what I usually do I've got my wood golem it is considered a hostile enemy I'm gonna click red now here's the issue right now I am looking at this wood golems abdomen so my image is too big just like a map tool the mouse wheel is really helpful here so if I wheel towards uh, if I wheel like I'm scrolling down, it makes the image smaller and smaller. And if I wheel like I'm going up, it makes the image bigger and bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom down. You can also use these arrows over here. If it's a really big image and you need to get really small, kind of like that, that's a quick zoom feature. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. Now here's the problem with this is that's about where I want it. And you may not get everything you want in here. So, for example, these shields. There's no way I'm going to fit those shields in this token. And I'm probably going to get this NPC or this PC's head in the image. So that's just going to be something I have to deal with. But I'm okay with it. And there I go. I have now created my first token. Token Tool gives you the option now of going up to File and saving the token. And you can just save it to your, I would save it to my desktop, and I'd just name it Wood Golem. And I'd hit save. And then I'd go to my desktop, and there's my Wood Golem saved as a PNG file. Now with this Wood Golem, I can then take it and drag it down to Map Tool, and I can just dump it on the map. So it snaps in, it becomes this token, which is cool. Now there's another way to do that. You do not have to save. Some people like to save. I tend not to need the same token twice. So what I do is there's this cool little quick feature where if I go up here to this upper right hand corner and I click on the token, I can drag it down to map tool and just dump it in there. And I can completely skip over the saving it as an image. It'll drop in if you look at the bottom and the name of it here. It do, drops in as .token.drag. You can just change the name from there. And that's how I create most of my tokens using Token Tool. Now, one other thing to mention is you can drag and drop an image into Token Tool from anywhere. So what I'm going to show you real quick is how I also use Google Image Search to drag and drop images onto Token Tool. Now, I've got my... Google image search here and I want to search for fantasy skeletons for my room my first room and I don't want anything intense it's not a lich it's not anything like that so I usually go with this kind of boring little skeleton here so sometimes you can just click and drag this image preview here bring it to token tool and drop it and sometimes it'll copy now obviously this time it is choosing not to do that and this is what often happens uh, you can't use this image preview here. You actually have to view image. So I always click view image, not visit page, view image. And I click on the image itself, drag down to token tool, and I dump it right there. It downloads it into uh, token tool, and then I resize it until it's the size I need it to be that looks good for that token. And that's bringing it in from the internet. Again, it's a pretty quick feature. It works really well for tactical games such as Pathfinder and I imagine 4th edition, never played it, but if it works for Pathfinder, I imagine it's going to work great for 4th edition. And I just use that for anything else. Now, the one thing that this doesn't work for, if we go back to Map Tool, if you remember the last video I showed you these, these customized information tokens where I have the people of Kesson. I made those. You can try to make something like that in Token Tool. And in fact, I have done that. Let me open up this file real quick. My very old Crypt of the Everflame file. Uh, yes, I don't mind. 
If I go to my adventure progression here, in fact, that's how I did it the first time. I made these custom tokens using token tool, using this stone hex outline. And I did it that way and still has all this stuff in there that I need and whatnot. Uh, the one problem is, is this took forever. And I don't recommend this unless you want to. I did this by opening up a word processing program and centering it, typing it all up, working really hard to make sure that this was the right size, then turning it into a PDF, then snapping it, taking a snapshot of it, dragging it into Token Tool, and copying these over one at a time. It was a lot of work. So what I'm going to do in the next one is show you how to make these, these custom tokens with words, a little easier. But for the most part, Token Tool is what I use whenever I have a PC or MPC token that I need to make. So for now, that's it for video 10.2, creating custom tokens using Token Tool. If there's anything you're wondering about or anything I missed, just let me know in the comments and I will make an addendum to this and I will get back to you. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you in video 10.3.